So hey everyone, this is an update to my boombox project. Uh, latest things I've done are add a amp meter and a volt meter to the design. I thought um, they look nice and added uh, uh, some effects to it. First thing I'll say about the amp meter. So this is not a, a VU meter that you would traditionally see on a system like this that would tell you how loud the thing was. Instead, this is telling me how much, how many amps the amplifier is pulling because there's been a lot of questions about how long the batteries last in all the comments so thank you for uh, all of all of comments on the video it's been crazy I've never uh, had a video that's had nearly as many views as this um, so may inspired me to improve on it the other thing I think I did um, is add a, a, a on off switch uh, because this amp doesn't this thing uh, does turn the volume on and off, but it still has an LED that does not turn off and so it will drain your batteries without this master on off switch. So I recommend that if you do build one of these. So getting into how long the batteries last, because that's then the second, you know, the, the, like I said, the most important question people have had is how, how long the batteries last. And I'll say my 12 double A's and pretty good volume levels, maybe 10 hours of, um, you know, constant listening uh, at like parties and whatnot. And so just to give you a little demonstration of uh, how many amps it's pulling, well, let, me, let me go back to this amp meter first of all. I have a two here. This is zero to three amps. And this other one is zero to 100 milliamps. And so I thought initially that the zero to three was what I'd need. And I found out after running it, it barely even gets to half an amp. Um, if, if that, when running this thing at full volume, so wasn't getting any effect from the, the needle moving around like I was looking for. So then I got this zero 100 that unfortunately broke. It's from Hope Sun. I can't say that it wasn't my fault for putting too much power through it. Um, I don't really know much about these things, so um, don't not buy Hope Sun. Uh, just keep in mind that you may put too much power in it uh, if you buy if you're doing something similar to what I'm doing here. So anyway, I'm going to throw that in the trash, and now we'll take a look at a another amp I bought, same chipset, um, different design on the layout here, which I'm sure I'm going to short something with all this moving around. Um, so we'll do a test here with my new multimeter and I'll play some Matt Austin. And I should say this will get loud and I won't be able to talk and you won't notice the uh, volume difference because the camera uh, makes it so that it's a reasonable level for listening on YouTube. So you'll just have to trust me that it's very loud in my office when I turn this up. So that was uh, extremely loud and you can see that I think I saw um, 2.3 amps at, at the peak there. Uh, you know the caps are doing a little bit to smooth out the, the peaks and the music. And, and so double A's, you know, like I have um, 12 wire, wired in series to give me 15 volts are easily going to be able to give you, um, you know, the amp or two that the music is going to push. Some of the how much power it will draw will depend on how efficient your speakers are. So very efficient speakers are going to get much louder and not draw as much power. It really only starts drawing a lot of power when you have uh, a serious amount of volume, especially in the subwoofer, right? So I have no concerns with my, my double A's, like I said. And there's another question about the, how I wired all this. I think the most important thing to know is that these are the, um, I took apart two speakers and these are the crossovers that came inside of those cheap speakers. Like it was a sharper image bookshelf system that I was no longer using and I tore it apart and got the crossovers and the speakers out of it. And so there would be a lot less wires if I had simply used like this six by nine that has a built in crossover. Right. And so when you're, you're building these things, the crossover tends to be uh, one of the more expensive things if you're not going to make your own and 
that's not something that I feel like uh, building myself. Uh, so that, that's um, the reason for so many wires. Otherwise, this would be a pretty simple thing. You know, wire all the batteries in series, wire all the speakers to the correct terminals, and you're all set. Hope, uh, hope this helps, and uh, thanks for uh, all the comments. I really appreciate it.